act, I can't play a part. My aura bright like the moon and stars. Moving fast like a shooting star. I'm in my own lane, no movie star. Cause this ain't no act, I can't play a part. Drop the vibrate higher. I got the heat, I'm on fire. The Empress of the Empire. God is love, desire. welcome 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 what's up guys what is up guys 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 i'm so thrilled y'all and i told you i'm going full throttle and i'm doing i'm going full throttle okay i've been on a break i missed you guys and i'm so ready to dig back into this channel like i'm so ready i'm amped i'm pumped and I'm trying to switch things up and keep it juicy, keep it fresh, you know, for you guys. I hope you're loving it. I hope you like it. I hope you're feeling the vibe. All right? So right here, guys, Pisces, my Pisces, my Pisces. I have shuffled for Pisces for the month of November, okay? Yes, I'm doing you guys' readings early. Um, so we can go ahead and take a look into November, okay? I already shuffled these cards. I already, you know, meditated on you guys' energy. And if you before we hop into the reading, let's make things clear. These are general reads, okay? So they won't resonate with every single Pisces. If they resonate, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share as well as click that bell to subscribe okay click that bell all right so let's see what we have for pisces at the bottom of the deck pisces we have deception okay we have deception all right so maybe someone isn't being honest maybe it's you not being honest maybe you lying to somebody maybe you playing games with somebody like I said, these energies can go vice versa, okay? Because this could be your cross-watcher's energy or it could be yours, okay? But let's see. We have, yeah, we have pay attention to the red flag. Somebody is not being honest, okay? And like I said, Pisces, this could be your energy or theirs. But someone is, there's a need for you to pay attention to the red flags, okay? Look. The situation is imbalanced. It's not right. We got unrequited love. Okay, there's not enough chemistry to keep this shit going. Excuse the language, but I'm just keeping it real. All right? One more. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Pisces. But you know what? On you guys' last reading, <laughs> you guys weren't playing. Okay, you... Ooh, look at this. Ooh, and then look at you guys. It's sitting right here. Ooh, Pisces. I've never had that happen. <clears throat> Somebody is juggling. I don't know why this just stuck out to me because it was turned the opposite way from the rest of the cards. But we have the devil and the two of pentacles. Ah! Somebody could be juggling here. The situation could be super, super toxic. Someone could be dealing with addictions. There's like a codependency you know, just somebody, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Virgo or a Taurus with that Pentacles energy. Let's see. Somebody is not telling the truth. Somebody is lying through their teeth. Somebody, and the thing about this is you can't lie to a Pisces. <laughs> just don't even try it. Don't do it. It's not, it's, it's, it's we're going to pick up on it. Okay. We're going to pick up on it. Don't lie very intuitive okay so let's see i need some clarifiers what is going on here what is going on okay <sighs> I'm going to shuffle five times because I'm getting the number five for you guys. 
And a lot of you guys may have been seeing the number 555. There could be about to be some drastic changes that are getting ready to occur in your life, okay? Whether good or bad. Um, things may seem like they're bad, but then uh, you never know. It may turn out for the best, okay? <clears throat> Please give me clarifiers for Pisces, okay? So let's take a look and let's see. We got the magician. Some of you guys are dealing with the Gemini. But someone is like... Oh, excuse me. Someone is possibly like wanting or coming at you, telling you that they want to make things work or they want to go into business with you or they want to cooperate with you. Okay. I feel like this is like out of the blue and all of a sudden. Okay. Let's see what's what. Some of you guys are dealing with the Sagittarius. Okay. Look, King of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Some of you guys are dealing with the fire sign. Or this is just the passion, okay? There's not enough passion. Maybe one of you is feeling more passion than the other. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. But this is definitely putting in some type of effort here. All right, so you or someone around you could be feeling rejected or left out in the cold, okay? Someone is starting to take notice here. Maybe someone is going through a financial hardship. With that temperance card here, they're trying to balance some shit out. This could be you or your partner. We got the nine of swords. Somebody is stressing you the hell out, okay? Someone is like wanting... I can't even say the word. Someone is wanting something to be balanced. They want the equal. They want the same thing, okay? If you, if you have four apples, they want two of them. Okay, and then we got the star card, Aquarius's energy. Someone is hoping that you put in more effort or this is you feeling that way about them. I feel like there's going to be a, oh, wow. So the situation is turning around. Something is changing, okay? Someone was having some bad luck. Someone has some bad luck here with this five of pentacles and the will of fortune and temperance card. Like someone was just having like a bad, was having a bad experience, okay? I feel like this turned this person cold or this is you towards them. Someone could have left you out in the cold or rejected you. And that shit turned you cold. The situation is very unquiet, unrequited. We got the King of Pentacles here. You could possibly be dealing with someone from your, from the past. The passion could be like it's sizzling out. Okay, it's not the same as it once was. Someone is ready to communicate moving ahead. And I also feel like someone is afraid to express themselves. And I'm picking up that it could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. I got fire energy here. Leo Sagittarius Aries. Queen of Swords. Libra Gemini Aquarius. I got Aquarius here as well. But I feel like um, a conversation is getting ready to be had. Someone is hoping that someone is being honest about the effort that they're trying to or want to put in. And I feel like some of you guys are going to be planning some type of get together for you to conversate or there's a conversation that is getting ready to be had about some type of reuniting get together. Yep, the opportunity to come back together. Okay, so maybe you are, um, someone is trying to return to you. And they're wanting to tell you how they feel. Maybe they've been afraid to tell you how they feel, but they open up or they're trying to open up um, and explain to you how they feel. Okay. Show me what general message is there for Pisces. This is going to be for the month of October. I'm not October. Listen to me. November. <laughs> November, okay. So maybe there's some type of turnaround, but we'll see. We'll see because we still have deception here. 
someone is still like being sneaky and I don't feel like you should let your guard down. Okay. So what message is there for Pisces for the month of November? November 2019. What messages are there for Pisces? All right, let's do it. Okay. Bottom of the deck, two of swords. So you know that there's a decision that needs to be made. Um, and you're not trying to have any regrets, okay? This person has lied to you. This person has possibly had you involved in a th third party situation. They just weren't being honest, okay? And that someone could even be watching you or spying on you as well, okay? All right, we have someone that could possibly be being manipulative, okay? And like, it's just a bunch of fuckery going on right now. Let's see. Page of Wands. Oh, somebody is. Ooh. I do see a community. I do see communication. Okay. A conversation being had, but someone is just like coming off cold as hell. Like they're coming off cold. Well, maybe you're waiting for someone to uh, communicate with you or reach out because they're being distant and they're being cold acting as if they don't care. Okay. So we got King of Cups energy as well. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So you are feeling very single and you're focusing on yourself, business, money. Um, oh, yeah, but you're keeping your guard up. I know that, Pisces. You're waiting for this person. To, you've been waiting for this person to reach out to you, okay? You've been waiting on it. But for some reason, you're feeling like, you know what? I'm not reaching out because I don't feel like this shit is worth it. I'm not feeling like it's worth it. So maybe it's you that's coming off as this King of Swords energy, okay? King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio like yourself. And maybe they're wanting to offer you a cup of love, okay, with this Ace of Cups. All right, so you've made a commitment to yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys are focused on yourself. And you're focusing on your money and your 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 business and your, and your careers. You're just doing you at this time. This is coming as a surprise to them. I like. I don't feel like they saw this coming. And I feel like you are definitely, okay, in the hopes and fears, we got the Eight of Cups and the Fool. You're, you're walking away from this situation and you want something new, okay? You're hoping that this person walks away and leaves you alone because you're, you're on to bigger and better things. You're doing something new. I do see that there is a cup of love coming into the near future. So maybe there is a new energy getting ready to come into the into the future okay but at the same time i feel like some of you guys are completely as the outcome we have the star card that could be an aquarius but that is also healing okay that's also having hope okay or answered prayer um but then we have that knight of swords so like i don't know if you guys are hoping that this person comes back but i mean maybe you feel like if you walk away then this person um, you know, we'll come running out, come running after you. Why is the Knight of Swords here? All right, yeah, the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> I feel like you still hold on to this person. Um, I I see lots of worry. Okay, um. Nine of Swords, you possibly think about this person a lot. We got the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, as well as the Devil. Okay, so there's like an addiction. Oh, three. There's a third party situation here. Um, this person could have had you in a third party situation. Could have been dealing with a fire sign or a Capricorn. Um, we got the Queen of Wands, the Devil, and the Three of Cups. So someone is definitely like a third party situation. This could be on your mind. This could be weighing on your mind, okay? And this is something that you possibly cannot let go. But at the same time, I feel like you possibly, you know, still wish that things are different. And you were, you know, still hoping that this person comes back. But I feel like for now, you're continuing to move forward and start something new. Because I see that um, with this King of Cups here, there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio getting ready to come in um, with this Ace of Cups and offer you a cup of love. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Look, we got the Three of Swords, okay? 
Um, I'm getting someone is apologizing with this page of cups. Okay. Um, and the lover's card. We got the Gemini energy here. Um, someone went away to do some soul searching. Why is the three of swords here? Someone's like having a broken heart. Why is the three of swords here? Okay, the strength card. Okay, so there could be a third party involved. And it could be um, involving a Leo. Okay. Someone is wanting to put some effort in. But I'm just picking up on that there could have been a third party involved in this situation. Okay, we got the Empress card here as well. So there could have been a third party situation here. But I feel like you could possibly be trying to let go of some past pain to let someone new in is definitely what I'm getting. Why is the higher thing here? I feel like some of you guys could possibly be dealing with the Taurus or some of you guys could be married, but you are separated because we have the Hierophant here as well as the Nine of Pentacles. Um, and so it's like, oh, somebody's spying. And so it's like, you know, with this Four of Swords here, it's like tired of doing things by the book, tired of being, you know, doing things the right way or doing things a traditional way. You kind of want to do your own thing. Is what I'm picking up on, okay? It's like you're taking a break. Some of you guys are separated because we have the Hierophant and the Four of Swords. So this is definitely being on a separation from um, someone. So for some of you guys, you could be married to this person and they had you in a third party situation. Um, and now you're ready to venture off and do something new. Why is the high, pri high Priestess here, which is the card of Pisces? But they're really surprised, Pisces. They didn't see this shit coming. They never thought that you had this, this type of energy in you, okay? Why is the High Priestess here? They, they feel as if, like, you were very mysterious, like, or private. They never saw this side. Why is the High Priestess here? Okay, so maybe you've been getting, look at you with the Queen of Cups here. Okay, so you've been getting a lot of attention. You've been getting a lot of attention and they're surprised. Like, they are surprised they didn't see this coming. Why is the Six of Wands here? Okay. They've been waiting to talk to you about it or whatever, but they didn't see this coming. Maybe this could be a fear as well, too, that you guys are afraid that this person may walk away and, and um, take a risk and walk away. Um, and maybe some of you guys are hoping that this person comes running back to you or needs you in some type of way. But I feel like it's time to let go, Pisces. And if the relationship is no longer serving you, then it's time to get out of it because then it becomes toxic. Okay, so... We're going to leave that at that. Now we're going to do um, how do they feel about you. And then we're going to close this session out. All right. So really quick, really quick, 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 quick. Let's see how do um, they feel about Pisces. Okay. How do they feel about Pisces? So we got the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn's energy, but they feel like you're oh, they feel like you're focused in and you're doing business. You're focused on your money, okay? They feel like you are bossed up, okay? They feel defeated in some ways, shape or form. For some of you guys, this really did did involve um, a marriage, okay? And they feel like defeated because you're standing your ground. Like they feel like they have to step down in this we got that queen of wands again leo sagittarius aries energy here in the past or maybe they were feeling as if you you know are, are kind of like a, i'm getting like hot girl 
I mean, like hot girl, hot boy, you know, the summer is just sizzling out. So maybe you guys are on fire because for some of you guys, I am picking up that you guys have been getting lots of attention. It could be lots of attention via social media. OK, because here we are again with you getting more all of this attention with the six of wands. And this is what is crowning them. And it's making them feel pretty, you know, down low, <laughs> feel defeated. OK, it's like you're finally standing up. Two of Cups in the future energy. So maybe they want to connect with you and bond with you. Oh, Ten of Pentacles, huh? They want to invest or they want to be a family or they want to talk business with you, okay? And you're looking at this like, oh, so where's this change coming from all of a sudden, right? All right, so the outcome being the moon, which is you guys' energy, okay? Yeah, look at you. They see you as standing up for yourself. You guys have bossed up. Yeah, like there's just on and off. They want to they want to come in and out of your life, um, Pisces. Okay. They got this Knight of Wands. Could be a fire sign, but this person is like a player, okay? They aren't being committed to anything. With this Knight of Wands, they are in and out. So this is like an on again, off again thing, okay? Look, we got the Sun card. Um which is Leo's energy here with this Ten of Pentacles. So maybe you guys, I'm picking up that a lot of you guys are married or you've been with this person for a long time. This is something that has been going on for a while, okay? But you're ready for some, you you possibly was, you know, was ready for this change. You were ready for this person to come towards you and, you know, possibly like express how they feel, but you're ready for this person to change. You're ready to see something different. I'm picking up on Capricorn's energy with this Knight of Pentacles. They are wanting to close some chapter, but they're dragging their feet. We got the moon and the star. Wow, like universal type energy. Um, they're still having hope here, okay? They may hide it, but they still have some type of hope here, hope. Yeah, this person is a player. But you're ready for this person to take some type of action towards you. Yeah. They hope that you return with the Six of Cups. They want to reconnect and rekindle with you. Okay, why is the Four of Wands here? And then I'm going to let you guys go. Why is the Four of Wands here? I think they also feel like um, we got the seven of cups, okay, and the tower and the one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? What is this? I'm getting that there's possibly no communication between you and this person. Someone is dealing with a third party situation, or someone is definitely hurting, hurting right here. They want you, they want this tower to hit you. Like, they want, they want you to. I'm just getting like have like some type of wake up call or or something um and they hope that you return like they want you to have some type of epiphany um and just like want to return back to them this person is just is just a player look knight of wands and the nine of pentacles like this person doesn't want anything serious they want to come in and out and play and still act like they're single okay no no Mm -mm. They're going to try to reconnect, but I wouldn't trust this person. This person has the Knight of Swords energy, Knight of Wands energy, very childlike energy, um, and very irrational. Like, nothing's thought out. They just go and just do things or say things that they really don't mean. They're just, you know, like all over the place. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. Yeah, see, look. Seven of Swords and a Knight of Swords? Hell no. This person is a compulsive liar. No. Mm -mm. Pisces, make sure you're keeping your guards up, okay? This person is full of it, okay? And this person has other options. They're juggling. They're full of it, okay? All right, so if this message resonated, guys, leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on down there in that comment section. And don't forget to share and... um. Subscribe if you're new, all right? If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, information is in that drop box below, and I will get up with you guys later. Ciao for now.